Azulayt mas with mas siti matir mleha kit kum with kum ayu. So, in today's video, we'll learn how to say greetings and farewells in Rifan language. So, the first thing that we learn in each language is saying hello, good morning, and good night, and goodbye. In the Rifan language, hello or hi is Azul in traditional Amazigh language. But right now, since we, the majority of us are Muslims, we use Salaam Alaikum. So, in order to greet someone in Rifan language, you can say Salaam Alaikum. So, what about good morning? Good morning in Rifan language is Tifawin. We say it traditionally and our ancestors used to say Tifawin. But right now we say Sabah Khair. I know it's Arabic language, but what we can do? It is what we use right now in our region. And in order to communicate with people from brief, you can say Sabah Khair. And to say good night, you can say Thimin Siwin. And again, it is what our ancestors used to say, but in our Rifan actual language, we say Msar Khair. Goodbye in Rifan language is Bslama or Aqshadin. Aqshadin, we use it between friends and between family if they are um, in your same age. But if you are visiting your aunts or uncles, for example, you can say to them Bslama. Bslama means goodbye. If someone visited you at home and you want to welcome them, you can say Marhababik. I know it's an Arabic word, but this is what we use in our Rifan community. So, supposing that you are calling your friend and you want to tell him at the end of the call, of course, take care of yourself. In Rifan language is Talagkhfinig if he's a boy and Talagkhfinim if she's a girl. When you are with your friends and family, even if you spend hours and hours talking, it is like you spend few minutes. So, if you want to promise them and maybe say, not promising them, but just telling them, see you soon. It is like a promise. I will see you soon. You can say in Rifan language, Ukhanumza, meaning, I will see you soon. And there is a variation of this sentence. For example, if you want to say to someone, see you tomorrow, uh, you can tell him or tell her, I will see you tomorrow. The same thing, if you want to say, for example, I will see you next week, you can say Now, if you want to greet a group of guys in Rifan language, you can say or And the same thing, if you want to say, for example, hey girls in Rifan language, it is or so, in order to combine this sentence with other sentences, uh, which are complementary sentences, of course, uh, to give a meaning to your to your um, to what you say, you can say, for example, which means it's getting late. I should go. There are many other sentences in order to greet someone or to ask someone. What's up, for example? What's up in different language is Mint Awadh. If it's a group of guys, you can say Mint Awadhim. If it's a group of girls, you can say Mint Awadhint. So, right now, if you are in front of a group of guys and you want to ask them what's up, you can say to them Ahlani Brigan, Mint Awadhim. Or Azuli Brigan, Mint Awadhim. So, it's the same thing for girls. It's simply the question of Changing them with ta'awadhint. So, if you are driving your car and you saw an accident in front of you and you want to ask someone what's going on, you can tell him or tell her, Mini taqan, what's going on? I know you notice that we use a lot of Arabic words in Rifan dialect or Rifan language, but it's the case since our parents and grandparents. So, in order to speak with a Rifan, you should also know few Arabic words that we use currently. 
So, I'm sure that you heard this sentence before, especially in celebrations and holidays. Moms, dads or uncles, when they call someone in holidays or in celebration, they say, first thing is Ahlan, first sentence that, or first word that we learned, and the second thing is Mukhtajid, how are you? So in order to ask someone how, are, how is he or he, is she, we or you can say to them Mukhtajid. In any case, if someone told you Mukhtajid or asked you Mukhtajid, how are you, you can say either that you are doing well or that you are not doing well. But let's be positive. If you want to tell them I'm doing well, you can say Aqaim Leh. Okay, so if someone asks you Mukhtajid, you can respond to them Aqaim Leh. So, if you want to tell someone that you are doing great, someone asked you Mukhtajid and you want to tell them I am doing great. So now, if your life is doing well and you are feeling so great, if someone asks you Mukhtajid, you can answer them Aqai Mkhiya, which means I am doing great. Now, let's be a little bit negative. I mean, life is ups and downs and you cannot be great all the time or doing well all the time. If, for example, your life is not doing well, but it's still acceptable, you can say Okay? So, it's only the first stage, in fact, of not doing so well. So, the other degree of not doing so well is So, when you are doing well, when you are not doing well. Now, for example, if you did an, a physical effort, okay, and you are tired, and someone asks you, how are you doing, Mukhtjid? You can respond, I am tired. And tired, we can use it for physical and emotional tiredness. So if you are physically or emotionally tired, you can say, I am tired. And the last degree of not doing well is when you are sick. So if someone asks you, how are you doing when you are sick? You can answer them, Yeah, that had. I think that I will stop this video right here. Thank you for watching. Please share with your family and friends in order to spread this beautiful dialect, which is Rifan dialect. And maybe comment with your greeting sentences that you know, or maybe ask questions if you don't know some greeting sentences, I will be happy to reply. Thimensiwin.